What's up everybody? This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. So I'm going to do something I've never done before. I'm going to put a smartphone against a DSLR. This is the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and this is the Canon SL3. Now, I've never done this before and we're going to have some fun doing it. Now, in this video, I'm going to do video photography between both of these devices to see which one is King Supreme. So let me give you some disclaimers. On the Note 10 Plus, I'm going to shoot with Filmic Pro and Long, and I'm going to use 24 frames per second at 4K, and I'm going to use a Lux Pack in post to give it color grade. And on the SL3, I'm going to also do 4K, 24 frames per second, and I downloaded a flat profile from uh, ColorCinema.com, and I am going to color grade in post. Now, if I'm in this video, if I do slow motion shots, I'm going to go to 1080p, 60 frames per second on both devices, and I'm going to slow it down to 24 frames per second. Now, as far as the ISO and uh, shutter speed and everything, I'm going to go as close as I can to make sure it's even steven between both of these devices. This is going to be a fun one. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Now, I'm using a kit lens, which is the 18 to 55 millimeter. Just so you know, I just want to get all these, all these disclaimers out the way. Let's go. All right, guys, so here it is. I got the Canon SL3 and I got the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Now I'm shooting both of these devices in flat and long profiles, and I'm gonna do some color grading once I get it in post. Now, yes, uh, as you can see that both of the devices is doing a really good job. And I'm gonna tell you that uh, when I walk here, you be the judge for yourself when looking at both of these cameras. It's the first time I've ever done a DSLR and a cell phone but you know what hey let's go on and see what it's all about now when it comes down to uh the, the 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 photos you be the judge for yourself again this is a dslr you have so much stuff that you could do with a dslr versus a smartphone we all know that but hey at the end of the day hey it is what it is so look at that beautiful let's see if we can get some color in there the sky now it's an overcast sky it's nothing blue in the sky it's actually early in the morning and i'm shooting that i'm at the park <laughs> and let's see if we can get some of that color in there boom yeah so i'm holding both of the devices in my hand so uh i mean the kit lens have uh, stabilization uh, but the Galaxy Note 10 Plus does have optical image stabilization so we're going to see some stabilization on uh, both devices so there it is so let's go on the walk boom let's see if we can get some details uh, with uh, this, this tree here as I get closer to it boom so look at the details of that tree you be the judge for yourself look how beautiful that is Gorgeous. Yes. The Chosen. So I hope you enjoyed this video between the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and the Canon SL3. Now, as you already know, 
DSLR is going to be top dog versus smartphones, but it's no clear winner here between both of these devices. I just wanted to kind of showcase how smartphones have almost come close to DSLR. Now, I shot this entire video in log, right? In a flat profile. And one of the things when you shoot videos in log and flat profiles, I'm going to kind of show you the difference what I see in the viewfinder. So when I'm looking in the viewfinder shooting in log, this is what I see. So as you can see, it's all blown out, hardly no color. I mean, no contrast, no depth, no nothing. Then when I, once I add a Lux pack or color grade uh, to the video, this is how it looks. So as you can see, it's beautiful, nice and detailed. The colors pop. Uh, and that's one of the things that when, you, when you're shooting it flat and when you're shooting it long, this is what you're going to see when you're out here filming. Uh, again, uh, Filmic Pro that I use on the Galaxy Note 10 is a professional software uh, that I really like to shoot with. And it's very good uh, for smartphones. But you do have to do a lot of work in post. Now, the still footage that I shot in this video was JPEG and RAW but you saw the JPEG version. Now, you can shoot in RAW and do color grading in post, uh, but I just showed you guys the JPEG files uh, in this video, and you be the judge for yourself. Wow, I had a lot of fun doing this video uh, between the Canon SL3 and the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about a smartphone versus a DSLR. See you guys on the next video. Peace.